Hello, my name is Juusi Jono. I'm a regenerative farmer from Southeast Finland. Today I'm going to tell you how we are enabling carbon farming on the Carbon Action platform. But first, let's take a short look at our farm in Joutsena. On our family farm, we are producing organic food and seed crops on 120 hectares. Regenerative means, for example, that while producing food, we are increasing soil carbon stocks and biodiversity. Also, knowledge is one of our main outcomes, and we are participating in several research projects, such as soil diver agri and live carbon farming schemes. And in this presentation, I will introduce you Carbon Action Platform, where I'm, I am as an educator and a member of the board. First, the limiting factors. Limiting factors of carbon farming that we have recognized during our work. I see farmers' knowledge most limiting factor, and that is not a fault of a farmer, but of a system that hasn't enough supported farmer to take care of the soil and biology. Carbon farming doesn't have to be something fancy and new. Instead, it is a holistic approach to farming and soil. To realize the effect of carbon farming, changes in soil carbon stock should be monitored and verified. The challenge is first that the changes are very really small compared to the stock, typically below 1% per year. Secondly, the spatial variation can be very high. And farmers need to prioritize their profitability, and according to that, also carbon farming should be economically feasible. It may need some investments in the beginning and introducing the new methods, risks can be higher than in conventional farming. And to solve these limiting factors, we have launched a Carbon Action Platform 2018 to develop agricultural soil carbon sequestration, its, its methods and monitoring. Today, platform consists of 17 separate research projects that are funded from various sources. And platform includes also international collaborations. And also decision makers and companies are involved. In the core of the carbon action, we have approximately 100 Finnish pilot farms who are trialing different carbon farming methods and learning together. These farms are producing data for soil carbon measurement and modeling development. Farmers have been educated by top scientists and educators, and they are learning in, in the small groups from their peers. And especially peer-to-peer -peer learning has been found very effective in learning new farming methods among farmers. One of the aims of the carbon action platform is to develop methods to reliably estimate the soil organic carbon stock changes, which enables monetizing carbon sequestration. A research group coordinated by the Finnish Meteorological Institute is currently developing a carbon calculator, which is described here. It is using several technologies to measure and model carbon to produce reliable results. Also, the economics of the carbon farming is studied on our platform. Carbon markets and schemes are studied, especially in a live funded project uh, where I'm also attended. But we already know that many carbon farming practices are multi beneficial. Carbon sequestration can lead to de de decrease in nutrient loading, improving biodiversity, and the improved resilience of the farming. Taking into account the current climate and biodiversity crisis, carbon farming should be incentivized in the next common agricultural policy period. One example which is suitable to new eco schemes program are cover crops that could be supported based on results and monitored via Sentinel 2 satellite. Very effective, both economically and from the view of carbon sequestration. 
here we can see pictures uh, from our farm from the last October, and you can see that it's very uh, easily uh, seen from from those uh, Sentinel two imagery uh, different and different soil covers and crop covers. And uh, have to mention that this plowed pear field is is our neighbor's field. In conclusion, to improve farmers' knowledge, advisory and education is needed. Different kind of, kinds of trials and pilots ease the adaptation of new practices. To develop monitoring, hard science is needed, but it is most efficiently carried out participating farmers. We've noticed that this benefits both the farmers and the scientists. For the society, it is best to adapt for carbon farming immediately and at least i don't know any more efficient tool to do that than to target subsidies to enhance carbon farming crunch time is at hand referring to ongoing cap negotiations and uh, the design of the national strategic plans so i think we should go on and tell the decision makers what should be done thank you very much for your interest i'm open to discussion